So I want to add a little addendum to my financial thoughts from yesterday. I mentioned that if anyone was surprised, any financial people were surprised, change the channel. Because even a two-year-old saw what's coming, um, the financial markets yesterday. I mean, anyone who was awake saw that coming. And um, my addendum I want to add on to that is if you listen to financial people who say, oh, based on history, we've seen this, this, and this happen, and we know that this will happen, and just trust the markets, trust the markets. No one knows. We've never been here in history. We've never been. Add, I want you to add on to whatever they say, the tagline, 35 trillion in debt. We've been in recessions that are worse, depressions that are worse. Uh, we've had gas lines in the 70s but not with 35 trillion in debt. We've had interest rates that were much worse than now, much worse than the 7% we're seeing now, but we've never had 35 trillion in debt. We've had 20 years, we were over in Afghanistan, we weren't 35 trillion in debt. So we're in uncharted territory is my point. So if you listen to any financial people that say, we've been here, we know what's happening, trust the market, trust the market, market might be fine, market might be fine. I mean, silly me, I think you're taking in 4 trillion a year, you're spending 6 trillion a year, if you're 35 trillion in debt, you know, at some point, you're going to have to pay the piper for that. I don't know. I can't run my businesses that way, but who am I? Maybe they figured a way to do it. Take in four, spend six. Take in four, spend six. It'd be a good song. Take in four, spend six. We got something in a bag of tricks. We're going to ruin your kids' future. Someone make a song out of that. Anyways, my point is, I'm like delirious Financial today. crisis stuff aside, we're here for a speck of time. Eternity's forever. 10 out of 10 people are going to meet their maker. Get right with Jesus. Peace.